Okay, inverse functions. Um, if you have a situation where you have a function and you composite it with another function and it comes out to be x, then it means they are both inverses of each other. Um, similarly, if you have two functions that are inverses of each other, then that is also true. Go back to our example that we had a minute ago. We had uh, f of x was equal to 5x minus 2, and we had found that f to the minus 1 of x was equal to x plus 2 over 5. Now, if I composite those in either order, doesn't matter, I'll get 5 into x plus 2 over 5 minus 2, which you know, 5 will cancel, so I get x plus 2 minus 2, which leaves me with x. Okay, that's that's doing f composite f to the minus 1. Other way round, I could do um, 5x plus 2 subtract 2 over 5. I'll end up with 5x over 5, uh, which leaves me with x. So again, I'm left with x. And that is true all the time. If you have two functions that are inverses of each other, and if you composite those, they'll come out to be just x. But the converse is also true. If two functions composited together gives you just x, then they are inverses. Okay? So with that in mind, let's look at this function here. Uh, and let's just composite f with itself. So f composite f, uh, which can be written as ff, uh, which can also be written as f squared of x, which is not a great notation in my opinion, uh, because it could be interpreted as f of x times f of x, but it's not. It means f composited with f, okay. um, which means we're going to take the definition of f and we're going to plug it into x in f. So whenever I see an x, I'm going to write x over x minus 1. So x over x minus 1 divided by x over x minus 1 minus 1. It might take a little bit of thinking for you to understand how that's the, inver um, how that's the composite, but whenever I see an x, I write x over x minus 1. So this x here becomes x over x minus 1, and this here, x here becomes x over x minus 1. Now, this particular example looks a little bit messy because I've got fractions in fractions, but I can multiply top and bottom of the big fraction by x minus 1, and that will give me x over x minus um, x minus 1, uh, which will be just x. So in this situation, I have just composited a function with itself and got x. And by the previous page, that means that f and f are inverses of each other. f and f are inverses of each, inverses of each other. So f is its own inverse. Um, and there are a number of functions which are their own inverse. Okay, it's completely possible. Um, and when we do uh, some coordinate geometry examples, so we'll start plotting them on graphs and see what the inverse actually does on the, on the graph, um, then we'll, we'll be able to pin down the type of function that will be its own inverse. Okay. Uh, but f is its own inverse, which means f um, of x equals f to the minus 1 of x, uh, which was x over x minus 1. Okay.